Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, we're going over the basics on how to fix chronic pelvic pain for males. And if you've had it, you know it sucks because there's no one quick fix, simple solution to get out of it. So what is chronic pelvic pain? Assuming you've gone to your doctor and probably urologist and ruled out any serious diagnosis like cancer, it's a set of symptoms which is essentially muscular based there's muscular imbalances or joint imbalances or both going on, which can cause a host of symptoms that differ in degree, severity, and type. So for example, you can be experiencing numbness through one side or both sides. There can be skin sensations, nerve sensations, muscular sensations, spasms, um, itching, burning, uh, there is a whole host of different kinds of symptoms, which makes it difficult to treat because a lot of people will go searching for, well, maybe it's a problem with my skin. Maybe it's a problem with my bladder. Maybe it's a problem with my testicle. Maybe it's a problem with the penis. Um, you can have symptoms in all of those areas, uh, yet it is simply a muscular and or joint imbalance that we got to address. So the next step after talking to a doctor, talking to a urologist is talking to someone who specializes in male pelvic floor treatment. And the reason why we want someone who treats males just at least as much as females is because often the difference is that females, when they give birth, have a very loose, uh, weak, often uh, incontinent um, pelvic floor where it can't contract the way that it should because it's been so stretched out. In males, it's quite the opposite. For most males, the major factor in causing the pelvic problems that they experience is a clenching of the pelvic floor. So what I want you to do is just squeeze your teeth together and imagine going around like that all day, squeezing it, but not realizing that you're squeezing. It. And that's what's going on for you males who've had chronic pelvic pain, most likely. Now, the reason why you don't think about it is because have you ever done an exercise that's called, oh, the pelvic floor curl or the pelvic floor extension or the pelvic floor bridge? No, they don't exist. So we never think about or consider it, and all of us generally have poor motor control and awareness of what our pelvic floor is doing. So what you have to do is start to realize that that area is very likely clenching and you need to think about relaxing that. And we want to feel our pelvic floor or the space between the penis and the anus expand the perineal area. We need that to expand when we're inhaling. So I want you to try to expand that area with me. I'm going to take a slow inhale and we're going to expand the area and then relax after that. Okay. Ready? Now, for those of you who can consistently practice this and be aware of relaxing your pelvic floor muscles during the day, you're going to get out of pain much faster than if you don't do this. So the number one tip in this video right now is being able to assess where your pelvic floor area is at right now and then focusing on relaxing that. Now, there are other triggers that are probably contributing to your pelvic floor pain that we can assess. And one of them is doing soft tissue work. So we're going to check first to see if the area all around, essentially from our rib cage down below to mid thigh level, what we're going to do is start in that low back area and we're looking for hot spots, meaning we're going to find any areas that are tender at all. And then we're going to see if we can just release them, just begin to release them. And then we're going to see if that does anything for our symptoms. Here, okay. So let's say I find a spot here. What I'm doing is I'm rolling back and forth. I'm looking for a spot, but most importantly, I'm relaxing the area that I'm rolling on. So I'm relaxing my low back. I can have just a little bit of contact with that spine if I need to. Let's say I find a spot, I'm relaxing everything. 
I'm relaxing my pelvic floor. I'll hold this for about 10, 20 seconds, taking my breaths. And then what I'm gonna do uh, after I roll just that spot or the area is I'm gonna uh, see if my symptoms have decreased at all, okay? And if they have, we know that that is a trigger spot area that we need to focus on to help with our pelvic issues. So I'm just going to take you through some rolling of, of the uh, left low back, uh, the glutes, a little bit of the, the, um, the uh, gluteus medius TFL, uh, then we'll go through abdominal, and then we're going to hit that perineal, the perineal area um, and the deep hip internal rotators. So. I'm done with the, the low back area, but I'm going into the glute area now. And often what you'll find is that one area may be more uh, impactful than another area. Uh, for those of you experiencing uh, bladder problems, let's say the sides were a little stiff, uh, but they really didn't contribute much to my symptoms because I step away is about the same. Uh, it's your choice whether to continue to roll on those areas that are maybe tender, but really may don't feel like they reduce your symptoms at all. Most important areas to hit though are absolutely the areas that you know have decreased your symptoms at least a little bit. So for the abdominal area, uh, I find it works best sideline where you can just gradually push in here and you don't wanna go too deep at first, especially after you eat or anything like that. And we're just looking for sensitivity. We're trying to relax. You can do this one standing up, but I find that um, your abdominals can get even more relaxed uh, if you're uh, side lying here, right? Make sure you get down very low. A lot of you at first are gonna be way too sensitive to put much pressure in there. You need to work at that and make sure that you're progressing with your depth and with your time to be able to reduce that sensitivity and those trigger points. That's gonna be one of the biggest factors very likely in reducing your urinary urgency. The other place to get here too is gonna to be right here. And it's very difficult to get to unless you're doing it yourself or you have a manual therapist that can help you do it. It's the cremaster area. So for some of you that have had pain in the penis, the shaft, the testicle area, uh, that whole area possibly, um, this cremaster area is very, very important for you, for you to get on here, okay? So you're just, we're just looking for tender spots. If you find one, you can hold it. We can also do a little bit of friction massage where we're, where we're grabbing kind of the skin like this. You can hold it. But again, over time, we have, to, uh, we have to be relaxed. We have to increase that pressure. We need to notice that that sensitivity and the tenderness is decreasing. Okay. So, there are some areas that I find just work better with the hand. And um, as weird as this is gonna look, uh, we're getting in right here, kind of towards uh, the middle, kind of crack area here. And you're gonna be pressing in up into the pubis bone and the ilium. And we're just going along down into the perineal area underneath. And you're gonna have to put pressure against that bone. And if you find that that area is very tender or sensitive, that's a key area to focus on, but do it slowly and gradually. And I think you'll find that there's a correlation between your reduction in symptoms and severity in symptoms and how good those places are feeling after a while. So you would do both sides. What we're looking to get in here, you go all the way down there even up right below the testicular sac, okay? And I'm just pressing more on the sides, the sides, and when I get to the right underneath the perineal area, I'm gonna press up as well. Now, I'm not gonna go into interrectal massage, but if you've had chronic pelvic pain enough, uh, you'll go to any lengths to solve it. That's something where if I get requests, I'll certainly go through um, a demo with a balloon and showing you kind of precisely how to proceed with that. So again, the relaxation of that pelvic floor is likely to be the biggest 
most important issue for you as well as focusing on those hot spots. So my message to you if you have chronic pelvic pain is stick with it, read as much resources as you can, definitely get some help from a pelvic floor specialist that works with males and ask any questions. I'm here to help. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.